Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome to something a little different. Now, you may not know this, I do immensely enjoy anime fighting games. And of course, we've got the new hotness right now Hunter x Hunter Nen Impact. Holy shit, it has a game now after so many years of just not having one. Now it finally has one. And with it becomes the best part of any video game discussion, the character roster. I don't know what it is, but it ju it's just the best thing to talk about when a game is coming out, right? So, I will be taking this little time to discuss who I think will be making the roster, the base roster, there's probably going to be DLC. So, first we start with the confirmed ones, right? We've got your regulars. You got Gon, you got Kilua, you got Karapika, you got Leorio, Isoka, and then Netero, right? All of them make sense. Of course all of them are going to be in the game, you know? It just, it just makes sense. And also, I bet you didn't know this, there was a little tiny trailer earlier, I think it was yesterday, that coincided with the gameplay that revealed two more, Uvo, banger pick, and Machi. That's, that's where I'm a little hesitant, but sure, I guess, you know, she could do cool things, maybe? Anyway, that leaves us with, if you saw the character select screen, eight people left. That's not a lot. It's very much not a lot. But, here are the people I decided would fill up those slots. So first off, you've got the classic, uh, Meduim. He's gonna be in the game. It's a no-brainer. He's gonna be in the game. Right? He has super moveset potential. He had an amazing fight. And if we have Netero in the game, we have to have him, because it just makes sense. I don't even need to say anything more on that. Right? So next, who do I talk about next? Let me talk about him. Kite is kind of important to Gon's character growth and overall like personality for some reason even though he was introduced like way late into the story he is still you know important to him and he has a cool ass power so that's also one of my like requirements for being on in this game do you have a cool power would I want to use that power and the answer is yes. I feel like Kite would be kind of like a hard character to play, but he would be amazing to master. And uh, yeah, he's also like, people like him, you know? I think it could work. And if we have him, we have to have them. Ito. Uh, yeah. I mean, we literally see in the gameplay that Gon's level 3 is to turn into an adult Gon, so we kind of have to have the person he did that to, right? You know, Pito has a cool moveset. Probably could do something with the, the healer nasty surgeon thing. Maybe. Not sure, but, but probably. And you know, Cat... Could basically be like Wolverine, I think, from Marvel vs. Capcom. Since, if you didn't know, those are the same people making this game. And if you also couldn't tell by the, the gameplay, I mean, the gameplay is really kind of similar. Um, so yeah, Pito, I think, is also a no-brainer. After that, we do need more female reps, so I'm going Bisky. I'm... 
I'm not sure about her inclusion in Jump Force. I'm still not over that. But it would wa make way more sense for her to be here. You know, she has the moveset. She has the story significance. Buff Bisky would go crazy as an install. It would be pretty cool. So, yeah. Really not much to say there as well. After that, we're kind of missing a main villain. Dun dun dun. If they don't put Crollo in the game, I will be upset. He's basically like a huge, a huge villain for the entire series for a, a good bit of it, you know? And if we have two Phantom Troop members, we gotta got a third one and it's gonna be Crollo. Now, while I think he's only ever had like two, maybe three fights in the series. He's got the moveset potential. You you know what he can do. He's got the book. He's got the stealing. He's got the everything. So, so yeah. Crollo is making it in. That now brings us to the not obvious ones. I think all of those I've just said are the obvious ones. And the last three I've picked I don't think are that obvious. They could really go anyway. But these are the ones I think could definitely happen. Now we had Corolo, but we need another Phantom Troop member. I chose Phaeton because he had a cool fight and cool powers. But realistically, this slot could go to any Phantom Troop member. Really, anyone. I just picked Phaeton because he's cool. But you could have Nobunaga. You could have Frank, I guess. You could have the Boxer Mummy guy. Really just another Phantom Troop member. Because there's so many of them, and I know people like them. They're going to have at least four. At least even though there's a whole lot of them. But if they, if when they do pick another Phantom Troop, I hope it will be Phaeton. All right, then after that, we don't really have that many villains, right? Well, we have villains, but we're kinda, kinda missing an arc there where we don't have its villain. So I put the bomber. You know, as as a villain compared to the other people, he's kind of eh. But I do believe he could have a cool move set. I feel like a uh, Genthru mains would be very annoying online, and he would have a stupid move set. Uh, but yeah, I think he could he could definitely work. In the game and uh and yeah simple simple as that and now for my final pick i gotta admit this was not not an easy choice whatsoever i could not figure out who to put here i had to look at damn character lists to think who would be a good pick and i still just have no idea you could have had Illumi, you could have had another Zoldic. But the person I picked, I feel like, yeah, they would go kind of nuts. My boy Knuckle. I feel like he gets no respect from the, uh, the greater fandom, but Knuckle is cool. He's got a cool power. And I don't know, he's just, he's just that man. He was never like really the focus, but he put in the work when he needed to. Now I think if we were to have him, we would also have Yuppie. But I sort of held off on the other World Guard members because 
we needed we needed to put in a lot of more other people. Th there's probably going to be DLC for this game. We can get whatever whoever's missing there. But I wanted to put Knuckle. But realistically, this could be any person, any person whatsoever. Hanzo, the dude from the the, the exam. Uh, another ant. What Chitu? You you want Chitu in the game? I don't. He could be in there though. And there we go. That is the roster I have put together. For a base roster, it's all right. I still think 16 characters is just not enough at all. But hopefully if the game does well, we will get some nice DLC. And hopefully before it comes out, they get some uh, some some graphics boost. Because while the game looks good, it looks like it plays good. It's got co combos and everything and bombos and stuff. It's still is, is just kind of lacking in the graphics a little bit. I feel like they could do something there, but we'll just have to see. It is still in development, even though it looks mostly done. All right, and I think that's uh, that's basically all I wanted to say on this. So I think I'll end it there. I've been player one, and I'll see you when this game comes out, because we're probably going to play it. It looked cool as hell. Hopefully it has a story mode. Uh, yeah. Bye-bye.